こんにちは僕はロッキーで今日はまた夜遊びにリアクションしてます。Today, yo, welcome back to episode 10 of Show Me the Artist. Now, today we are going to be covering Yo s o b i so we're going to be officially starting to dive into Yo s o b i and learn a little bit more about their sound because, as of course you guys know,、uh, we did a reaction quite a long time ago. I think it was probably.、Uh, It's probably either just under or just over a year ago now.、Uh, we reacted to Gunjo. Now, Gunjo, we reacted to the first take version today. We've got the music video for it as well.、Um, but yeah, I'm really keen to learn more about Yoasobi's sound. As far as I'm aware,、um, I, like it says, Ayase Yoasobi. I, like, honestly, I really don't know if Yoasobi is. Uh, a solo singer, or if it's a duo, or if it's more than that, if like Yo s o b i includes like the singer and then like the, the, the band or something like that. I, I don't really kind of know how that works, so please do, of course, let me know. But anyway, regardless, I'm very excited. We have got、um, a thing that was recommended to me a lot, so that is going to be Racing into the Night, otherwise known as Yoru ni Kakeru. So, Yoru ni Kakeru. Uh, so, I'm excited for that. Then, after that, we have got Kaibutsu, so Monster. Then, after that, Ano Yume o Nazote. All right, so we got that. And then, after that, we have got Gunjo. I really can't fucking read. Holy shit, I need to bring my monitor closer.、Um, anyway, this is going to be exciting because I've heard a lot of things about them,、uh, and I think that it's going to be great. Also, chat is cut off. No worries. I will go ahead and pop that there. So, we should be good there. But regardless, Uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are excited for today. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. We have got Yoru ni Kakeru in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. The keyboard shit! Is Ayase the one singing? Because, uh, took note. Ikura's the singer, okay. Ikura's voice is amazing. Ah.、Uh. Mm-hmm. Dude, this guitar is crazy. I like the, the vibe, the tempo of this song is so nice. Uh, uh. Uh, crystal clear for sure. Uh. She crying? Yeah, instrumental is really something, man. I love it. Oh, I like that a lot. It's catchy as hell. The、uh, guitar, I'm loving. I'm not going to die. 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 This is deep, damn.
when I want to end it all, you smiled? Oh. Key change? Ah. Oh, got you. Ah, ah. Oh, shit. The, uh, the beat is amazing, but her voice is incredible, damn. So, they both jump off together? Oh wow, the MV was a trip. <laughs> the MV was a trip. But that was great. Um oh music is IRC. Okay, cool. Alright, so alright. I Nina, massive props to Nina for that because that was absolutely crazy. But alright, so Ikura is the vocal and then IRC is the music. So this is how the duo works. We don't have a duo in terms of like the fact that we have a duo singing, but you've got one essentially on the instrumental, one, you know, really creating the beat and all of that type of stuff, and then Ikura as the vocalist. Dude, Ikura's voice is absolutely incredible, but um, that was deep. The the, the lyrics were kind of like, not necessarily all over the place per se, but like they take a lot to read into. I really can't wait actually to go ahead and read into them more. But um, yeah, I, once again, like with Gunjo, I was already really, really about it. Like I was super interested uh, in Yoasobi back then. It's just that it took us a while to wind up getting back. And, you know, on top of that as well too, like, uh, I, I think that there's been a lot that I've wanted to go ahead and check out, but I just didn't really quite know where to start. Where to start. Not only just with like say Yoa Sobi per se, but uh, just with J music in general. But I'm super happy that uh, Yoru ni Kakeru is one of those types of songs that I think that for sure uh, I could listen to on my playlist. It. I mean, naturally, I think something that a lot of people seem to say is that this could fit with an animation if we really wanted it to and of course I think naturally that's going to be the case and I definitely feel that way too but uh it's the 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 like the the melody of the piano like the way that this piano and 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 just everything builds and then explodes on that key change is absolutely freaking awesome and I absolutely love that racing into the night is a fucking certified bop uh, we have got Kaibutsu next, I think, Monster. Um, now this, I've heard, is also an opening for Beast Stars, uh, which is an anime. I haven't seen that, but uh, this is going to be excited, uh, exciting too. So I cannot wait to get into it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh. Much darker. Uh, uh. Ikura has the uh, exact type of voice that I really like listening to. Crystal clear. Seems to have a really good range. And uh, her ability to change pace. Like with the way that she sings is awesome. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. 
Dude, this song changes a lot. Ah. Ah. Hey. Yabai, kore. Hey, hey, hey. This doesn't sound like the same song that it started as. Like it's changed a lot. Oh, it's changed a lot. Oh, it's changed a lot. Wow. Hey, 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 Way better than I expected them. Ah. Her voice is beautiful, damn. Ooh, that guitar, hey, hey. It uh, really sells the anime too, honestly. Hey. Yo, that was absolutely fucking awesome. See, I really enjoyed Yorini Kakeru, right? Yorini Kakeru, for starters, to begin with was a song personally that I, I, I just enjoy because I think that I'm going to be able to listen to it uh, in a variety of different scenarios. Like, it's just going to be the type of vibe where I can sit down. It kind of just like... I, I feel like it's just a more general song. And when I say a more general song, like a general listener for me. So I can listen to it in a variety of different scenarios, a variety of different emotions, all of that type of stuff. So just basically an all-round bop. Kaibutsu. Damn, bro. Kaibutsu is uh, one of those types of songs where it started off and I went, okay, yeah, this is this is not bad. Like, okay, yeah, cool, this is good. And then it built, and then it changed, and then it built, and then it changed, and then it changed again. And we wound up going back and we had the key change towards the end too. And I mean, I don't even know sometimes whether or not it's just like the way that these MVs are put together too, because, you know, MVs, the, um, the visual aspect of MVs really just kind of go like, bah, wow, like you go, damn, uh, this is, this is, you know, really something. But like with just this song, the way that it exploded on that key change was personally something where I was just like, wow, like you kind of see stars. Like, I don't know, sometimes you hear songs where, I don't know, like you just really feel lifted and like elated. I, I guess that, you know, a lot of people go ahead and they say like, oh, I'm ascending. Like, you know, it's it's one of those types of vibes. And whilst that may be like a very popular thing to say, quite literally, like I felt like I was being lifted out of my chair. I was like, damn, okay, this song is, this song is crazy. And, you know, I, I can definitely say that uh, so far based on just kind of like where we're at. And I mean, you know, Gunjo, Gunjo was one, one thing and obviously seeing it on the first take, uh, was a really interesting way to be able to, you know, start my journey with yours hobby just in general. But um, based on just these two songs, if this is kind of the standard that we're working from in terms of quality, uh, then I am absolutely 100% fucking here for it. So now we have got Ane, Ano Yume wo Nazotte, and I'm very pumped for this one. So massive old like, full screen, three, two, one, tracing that dream. Let's go. So yeah, I like this too. The amount of frames drawn. I like that. This is your favorite song? Mm. I love the fact that in all of these songs that we've heard so far, um, the tempo is so high. That, like, the keyboard, the drums and the guitars go off. Like, they are super fast-paced. 
Like the tension always feels good. Really high. Dude, this keyboard is so dreamy though, damn. The way her voice slides on this. I'm uh, surprised, but not surprised at the same time, you know? Like, ah, the instrumental, let's go. Like, even just based off the last two songs, it's pretty obvious to expect brilliance, but. Her voice is shockingly good. I love the way she slides on that chorus, man. Damn. It's like you can't wait to hear it again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. The way we're stripping it a bit. Go, let's go. Explode. Key change again. Ah. That. Like. Ah. Wow. Lyrics are gorgeous. Like, um, like it's unrelated essentially to well, it it's not actually, but directly to your hobby, right? Uh, I've started delving into Japanese music uh, for the last month or so, right? And uh, you know, lately we've been checking out the likes of uh, B First, of J O One, of Ado, uh, and I mean we've even done a little bit of uh, Lisa before we did uh, Good and Get. Now, just getting to know uh, Japanese artists a little bit better has really started to teach me a lot about, like, um, I mean, one, how many amazing artists there are in the Japanese music industry just in general, but easily, like, the way that, like, they sing is just, ugh, like, it's... It always inspires some sort of emotion, at least the artists that I've checked out so far. And this is the thing that I love about music personally, is that like, you know, it's for me, it's an emotional thing. For others, it's, I mean, I guess it's an emotional thing for everyone, but for others, it's just something you use as background noise. Some people don't even really like music or don't care about it, even though I find that really hard to believe, um, just as someone personally who is obsessed with it. Um, and I think that like, what I really like is that, you know, say tracing that dream really puts me in like this um 
much more emotional, more nostalgic type state. Whereas then Kaibutsu just puts me in a completely different plane of existence as far as that's concerned to like, you know, directly, like directly compared to tracing that dream. And then Yorini Kakuru, so like racing into the night is just a completely different vibe too. But the one thing that's common about every single one of them, the one thing that stays exactly the same as a constant across every single one of them is that the lyrics are written to be really pretty. On top of that, they, they really feel like they mean something. They inspire an emotion within you, but also on top of that as well too. They like their tempo is so like upbeat and it's so fast and maybe even it's not if it's not necessarily upbeat maybe it's a little bit darker things just move so fast and like you can't help but like feel the rhythm and bopped with it and like you know and to like ride that rhythm um I've been told multiple times about yours hobby just in general that they are great artists and I thought yeah 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 I bet I'm sure like I'll get to them I'm sure eventually. One day I'm sure that I will wind up seeing for myself what is so good about yours, Hobby. And I see it. <laughs> I see it. I totally see it. I totally, totally, totally see it. It's difficult for me to explain because I'm kind of like um, uh, in like, I guess, a state at the, at the moment where I'm really just kind of like blown away by the songs themselves, but then also trying to... Um, I'm also like kind of like internally trying to compare it to what I do know about J music already as well and like whether or not they they fit like a slot to anything that I've already heard and I don't necessarily think that they do even like I think that they are yet again just another artist where I'm like wow they stand on their own like they're, they I can't compare them really to anyone I can't compare them against the standard that I know or like the artist that I know in my mind so you know, naturally explaining this is going to be a little bit difficult for me. And also musically, I'm a fucking potato. I've said that a lot of times, but really I like, I'm just a fan of music. I don't necessarily have any experience as a musician or whatever. Um, but I think that, yeah, these songs are fucking brilliant. I, it's funny too, that I tried to call a favorite so far as well too, because now Kaibutsu and also um, Ch Tracing That Dream. So Monster and Tracing That Dream are already competing for each other. Like the way that uh, you could have slides on that chorus the way that she sings that chorus on tracing that dream it really makes you hungry for the next one like you get super hungry for her to sing it again and then they actually kind of like hold off on it and you know it's like the pre-chorus I didn't I think maybe before the second one is elongated maybe it's a little bit longer or maybe the verse is just longer but like when we get to like that da -na -na -ka -da, like they explode on the deck because like we've like drawn that instrumental out and then she just explodes on it the instrumental explodes and you just go fuck like this is what i'm here for there's like fireworks in the mv and that's actually what it feels like like there is literal fireworks just going off in your ears i love that uh anyway kunzo kunzo i have not heard um for a bit it's been a while since i've listened to it uh, but I'm excited, of course, to catch the MV version. The first take version, naturally, is going to be very different um, because it's, you know, a cappella and it's live and it's just one take. But I'm excited to see how this differs. Uh, and, of course, excited to see what the MV is going to be like, too. But um, I'll talk a little bit more just about general thoughts on your SOB anyway, uh, just afterwards as well, too. So if you'd like to stick around for that, then do feel free as well. But definitely going to subscribe. Massive old like. Full screen. Three, two, one. Ikimashou. Very uh, interesting art styles always with these MVs. Ah. I uh, immediately think listening to the MV was far worse. I was debating whether or not I should react to this because I've technically already heard Gunzo, but uh, this this version I love. Holy, or well, the original rather, should I say? It's vibey. It's a lot more chill too.
I uh, I love how Ayase. I love how Ayase uses these things, uh, like say the piano. These like, like I love the instruments that Ayase actually uses. So the samples that we wind up getting in these beats. When I say samples, I mean of say certain in instruments, whether it be a real keyboard or a digital one or whatever, because. It's like exactly what I relate with J-pop, J-music just in general, but it's better, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like you hear these types of sounds a lot. Hey. Her voice is so dynamic, like she's able to sing her pants off and like she sounds also like she would be able to rap too. that I really like a lot. Like, we've heard it in every single song now, and I love that. Mm. Damn, she goes high. Yeah, her range sounds crazy. Love how you've got that like choir type vibe going on, you know. Multiple voices layered. Mm. That choral vibe. You know what? Definitely prefer like I definitely prefer uh this version just in general. Because, you know, naturally it's the original. I think sometimes nothing really beats the original. The first take is not necessarily meant to either. I guess rather what I'm saying is I'm glad that I decided not to... Um, sorry, I'm glad that I decided to react to it and wind up listening to it this way as well. As opposed to just saying and like leaving it at the first take version and saying, oh, I've, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it already. So I'm good. Like I don't, I don't necessarily need it. Um, as a whole... The experience is fucking premium. I, I think that uh, Yours Hobby are amazing artists for sure. There is absolutely no doubt about that. As for where they sit with like, oh, have I succeeded with this artist in terms of like, uh, you know, like falling deeper into them? abso fucking lootly. I want to hear so much more of their music because it definitely sounds like something that I'm really going to enjoy listening to over and over. Uh, I have to say, out of all of these songs, I think the first three are my favorite. The middle two, though, are my absolute favorite. So, uh, Monster and then also tra Chasing... Tra fuck, can I speak English, please? Tracing That Dream. Um, so, yeah, it's just one of those types of things where... I don't know, it's just one of those things where I think I really like the vibe that Tracing That Dream comes through with, but then also as well Monster just the the dynamism of that song the way that it changes so much is just something that i think i feel really keeps you interested also it's not nearly as long as the other songs as well too so it's one of those types of songs i think that just kind of you know hits you in such a short period of time and then you're like wow oh my god this is happening wow oh my god that happened and it's just uh really dynamic and keeps you very interested for sure uh as far as ikura's voice is concerned wow she is able to absolutely kill high notes and she sounds so good when she does but then the way that she's also able to pay, like change her pacing the way she slides on say tracing that dream to the way that she, she sounds in gunjo as well and then i think she almost did like 
um, a little bit more of like a rap. I can't remember whether it was in uh, Yori ni Kakuru, so uh, like whether it was in uh, Racing Into the Night or whether it was in Kaibutsu, so Monster. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but either way, she was absolutely freaking owning it. I think that her her sound personally is something that I really enjoy. And I love as well how like you've got some um, very, what I was trying to say during Gunjo is that she's got, uh, sorry, not she, they, they have like uh, this sound, which I think fits them super well. And it sounds like they've already got their signature style as well down very 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 well like their songs all seem to be relatively up tempo so they're really something that you can like bop along to and vibe along to something i could definitely see used widely in anime for sure uh but also on top of that too like you know that keyboard absolutely slaps the guitars slap the drums always going crazy and then over that you've got that this absolutely angelic voice which i think can do so much uh and i think yeah for that i absolutely really respect and appreciate your hobby and cannot wait to listen to so much more of their music so i would be really excited to hear which ones are your favorite down in the comments below uh, also let me know um, if you guys enjoyed this video so that we can obviously uh, you know check out more yours hobby maybe we might check out more of them uh, in show me the artist season two but that is the last episode for show me the artist season one it's been an absolute freaking awesome ride uh, getting to know so many more artists whether it be uh, J music whether it be Korean music so k-pop or k-hip-hop or anything like that and there's plenty more stuff uh, that we're going to eventually wind up getting into J J bands will wind up looking into as well so maybe rock maybe even a little bit of metal we'll see how we go with that um, and then of course plenty more coming for uh, maybe some older K-pop groups that we haven't listened to yet and have yet to discover uh, K-hip-hop there is a world out there for sure J-pop absolutely as far as groups are concerned even girl groups too uh, and then you know maybe even J-hip-hop we might even look into as well too so do definitely let me know down in the comments below maybe what you might be interested in seeing for show me the artist season two but thank you so much for all your support and all the love as always if you made it this far into the video anyway too uh do recommend me your favorite your hobby songs just in general too down in the comments i would love to go and check them out especially if they have mvs too just in future in general but thank you so much as always for tuning in i love and appreciate you guys and until next time take care stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next one Cheers. いつも見てくれて本当にありがとうございました。Cheers.